In this tutorial, I will explain about AutoCAD software. This is the AutoCAD 15 version. The graphic user interface is shown here. This is the title part. Here you can see the version of the software is a student version. These are called as a ribbons. This is the draw ribbon. This is the modify ribbon, annotation ribbon, etc. Here so many tabs are there. Under these tabs also you can have the ribbons. So maximum 2D commands are covered in the home tab. Apart from that some dimensions, some other commands you can get, get in the annotate tab. This is the graphic area. Grid is in on mode. Here you can switch off the grid or you can press F7 function key. This is called as taskbar. Here if you observe here, this particular settings button, now we are in the basic drafting and annotation module. If you want to go for 3D modeling, you can go for either 3D modeling or if you want to start the basics of 3D modeling, you can go for 3D basics. So 3D basics environment will be something like this. This is the 3D basics environment. All the 3D commands you will get, boolean operations, basic primitives, etc. If you go for 3D modeling, the environment is something like this. All the sophisticated commands with respect to 3D modeling you can observe here. Now we will start with the drafting and annotation. So this is the initial environment for the 2015 version. So now to learn AutoCAD, the first thing is the first thing is you must aware about the initial commands to work with AutoCAD. The first command you have to use is the units command. In units command, you will set the units for your drawing that is millimeters or inches etc. So how to set this unit? The command name itself is units. How to enter all these commands is there are three methods. First method is you can use the command from second method is you can use ribbons Third method is you can use the menu browser. I will show where exactly the menu browser is. So this is the menu browser. To set the units, type units here. Units, enter. Then you will get this dialog box. Now select this unit type as decimal only and select millimeters. If it is in some other units, inches, you have to go to millimeters. As I am first time opening this window, it is by default in millimeters. If it is not in millimeters, you have to go to the millimeters option. Then click on OK. So that is the first command. The second command is, you have to set the limits. For that command name is limits only. That means based on our drawing, suppose I want to make a stepper pulley, something like this. This particular length is some 200 mm. This particular length is some 150 mm. Then my limits, my drawing limit must be this is 250. This is 2, 150 plus some 2170 is sufficient. Something in this way we have to set the limits. So next command is limits. And here it is asking to specify the lower left corner. I set the lower left corner 0, 0, enter. Then it is asking to specify the upper right corner. Upper right corner I will set as some 300, 200, enter. Now your limits are set to 300 width and 300 length and 200 width. Now how to get those limits? into our screen, into our display screen, this is the display screen, you have to use the zoom command. 
third command is zoom zoom command you have to use for this shortcut is z z enter then type a enter a stands for all then automatically all your limits will be fitted into the display screen fit into the display screen that is the advantage of zoom all then go to zoom command that is z enter then a enter okay now your limits are set <coughs> in this way first initially it is better to set the limits next i will start with some line command to invoke various commands we have three different methods so first one is command prompt second one is ribbons third one is mini browser so here i am going for the ribbons option because from 2010 version onwards it is very easy to work with the ribbons in the previous versions we are very comfortable with the command prompt okay here in 2015 version it user friendly graphic user interface with the ribbons draw commands after that i'll explain the modify commands then i'll explain the enquiry commands after that i'll explain about dimensions and text these commands we will see one by one first one is line the shortcut for this is l so type l enter this symbol stands for enter at the command from type l and enter type l and enter then it is asking for specify first point and specify the first point somewhere here then it is asking to specify the next point Click for the next point somewhere here, somewhere here, something like this. I am selecting the points. Press Enter to close the command. So this is about line command. So here I am randomly picking the points. Suppose I want to give specific length for the line. I want to draw a 100 mm long line or 50 mm long line. Then how to give those uh, dimensions? so for that uh, different coordinate systems are there so before learning all these commands we have to learn about the coordinate systems available in autocad first thing is coordinate system second one is relative coordinate system third one is polar coordinate system so what is absolute coordinate system absolute coordinate system means suppose i want to draw a rectangle like this on dry acting like this this length is some 100 this width is some 40 now if this edge you assume as a this is b this is c this is d now this particular a is suppose 0 comma 0 then in the absolute coordinate system the b coordinate will be 100 comma 0 c coordinate will be 100 comma 40 D coordinate will be this is zero. Let's say x coordinate is zero. Y coordinate is forty. This is zero comma forty. Suppose zero zero is not somewhere here. Zero zero is somewhere here. Then it is very difficult to calculate these coordinates. But absolute coordinate system means this point, one particular origin point, either here or here, remains constant. And with respect to this origin only, you have to calculate all the coordinates. that is the difficulty origin is fixed here 
with respect to this origin only you have to calculate the coordinates of all points so that is the absolute coordinate system so in this way you have to use the absolute coordinate system this is very difficult to use so that's why we will never prefer this this is not preferred next one is relative coordinate system next one is relative coordinate system so here suppose you want to draw the same rectangle this is 100 this is 40 this is a b c d this a is initially 0 0 then b coordinates will become 100 comma 0 when you are going to mark c coordinates then automatically this b will become 0 0 that is the meaning of relative coordinate system then automatically what is the coordinate of this one when this is 0 0 that means here it is 0 so x coordinate is 0 only y length is there that is 0 comma 40 okay then coming to this d coordinates from here to here this will become 0 0 then the coordinate of b will be minus 100 comma 0 so in this here to d to a you want to draw this line then this will become 0 0 now then this coordinates will be minus 40 minus this is x 0 x 0 comma y minus 40 in this way you have to complete the rectangle observe here I will demonstrate the relative coordinate system I take the line command initially I will start somewhere here at any point we can start now at the rate 100 comma 0 then I want to go upwards I want to make the current position as origin so at the rate 0 comma 40 then I want to move in the opposite direction so at the rate minus 100 comma 0 then at the rate 0 comma minus 40 now the so rectangle is completed rectangle is completed I use these coordinates so this is called as a relative coordinate system so for the relative coordinate system the syntax we can write as a syntax is something like this at the rate x comma y this is the syntax then the third one is the polar polar coordinate system what the syntax is distance less than angle so this is used to draw the inclined line suppose i want to draw a 60 degree inclined line of length some 50 with respect to this horizontal then i can go for this polar coordinate system distance at the rate angle that is the syntax pattern so now observe how to i will draw this line so from here i want to draw a 60 degree line select this point at the rate distance is 50 less than angle is some 60 now you observe this this is 50 this angle is 60 degree this is 50 and this is 60 ok so that is about to polar coordinates taking the line command now observe I will draw one simple drawing ok to complete this steps drawing me which coordinate system I have used try to guess the coordinate system absolute or relative or polar hmm? ok I have not used any of those three coordinate systems 
I am using another simple trick to draw this sort of a typical drawings that is using F8 function key we can get the ortho on slash off that means here you can restrict your cursor to horizontal or vertical lines that is the advantage of using F8 function key for drawing inclined function like inclined lines use F10 function key this will be in polar mode this is for drawing uh, inclined lines that means without using all those uh, coordinate systems very easily you can complete the drawing using these two function keys so now observe how I am drawing the the steps drawing using those function keys I am taking line command after taking line command somewhere here take the starting point now observe the cursor is moving around this point to 360 degrees once I press F8 button it is restricted to either horizontal or vertical directions only now I want to go to some 50 distance take 50 and that that's all keep the mouse towards the right hand side and enter 50 then automatically you will get the 50 line there then keep the mouse upwards I want 20 distance enter 20 type 20 there and press enter then you got the 20 distance then again keep the mouse towards the right hand side I want 30 ok upwards I want 20 next again right side I want 30 upwards I want 20 then I want to connect this to here then keep the mouse here don't click just keep the mouse then move it like this then automatically that point will be tracked click there then join that here press enter to close the command now you got the drawing in this way using F8 function key you can complete drawings having horizontal or vertical lines